So for today in math, we're going, we are going to do ways to make 10. This is chapter one, lesson 11. You will need your workbook out. It's page 75 is where we're gonna start. If you have chips made from before, you can use the chips we made. Um, you might have to make them smaller though because the 10 frame in your book is kind of small. You also can get this out. This is the laminated one that you could draw chips on with two different colors of markers. So those are some things you might want to go ahead and get out. I'll let you pause the video, make sure you have everything out that you need. All right, so the first thing is, is I wanna to introduce to you what a 10 frame is. We will be using 10 frames a lot this year. 10 frames is a way to organize a math problem. So we start with the base of 10. And if you look here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have five rows on the top, five rows on the bottom. That's what a ten frame is. And you can use markers to draw in chips, or you can use chips. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually use this to help us solve a math problem. Now we're talking about making ten today, so the sum or answer to all of our problems is going to be ten. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put. some blanks up here to be able to write some number sentences for you. And can you see my equal sign? So I have hmm plus hmm equals hmm. We don't have a problem yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take down a couple of these and I'm gonna put a different color in. So do you see the math problem? We have one, two, three green. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have three plus seven equals 10. And do you remember what I told you? All of our answers today are gonna to equal 10 because we're learning different ways to make 10. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna erase my three. I'm gonna erase my seven. And I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Oh, look, we have the top row, which is five green. And the bottom row, we have five blue. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna write five plus one, two, three, four, five equals 10. Five plus five equals 10. And that's what our 10 frame shows. You can actually, Use this that I gave you. You have two of them there. I'll show you here real quick. But if you take a dry erase marker, oops, you can draw right on there. Five plus five is 10. And then you can erase it with a dry erase marker. So that's one way you can use something to help you since you don't have chips at home. Or if you wanna make chips and put them on there, you can do that too. So for homework, you're gonna go ahead and I would like you to do these two pages. This is page 76 and 77. You can go ahead and skip 78, but then I want you to go ahead and do 79 and 
80, which is this page right here. So you're going to go ahead and do that on your own and find some different ways to make 10. Now, again, anytime there's a story problem, whoops, like right here, you're going to circle the numbers and the keywords and write a number sentence. And then if you need to use your touch chart right here, you can use that to help you solve the problem. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. I'm here to help. Bye, guys. Happy making 10.